thankful for you guys because I had no idea what we were going to do. And just overnight, just overnight, all you guys just reached out and helped us and all the support, your encouraging words. Like, it's, it's, it's just gave me a lot of hope. Boy, this lying motherfucker. a few days ago. Kelly is now donating blood plasma, 100 bucks a time, to buy groceries. So you are managing to eat okay? Yeah, or... Exactly. Oh, yeah. They're, well, they're eating okay. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I'm like, there are days I don't even want to roll out the, the van, roll out the floor. <laughs> you get what I mean. Kelly's pawned or sold nearly everything she had. I had a bed right here. There was a TV right here on top of this bed, so I had to pawn that. Goddamn, there goes Zaddy. Online, but you lost your laptop as well. Oh, I had to pawn that trying to keep up with the bills. Zaddy to the rescue. At CNN. Boy, y'all ain't shit at CNN. You dummies. I just want to tell everybody, thank you so much. I, I'm still in denial, if you can't really tell. Um, it's a lot to take in. That little girl Very, looked at her um, like, bitch, you know you wrong. It's, um, it's really overwhelming. These are tears of joy, trust me. Um, uh, I don't, I, I'm just so thankful. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I would especially like to thank, I don't know if I can, but Kim, the one who reached out to my Them family. Them are some beautiful little actors. I mean, so kids. Uh, we're so thankful for you guys because I had no idea what we were going to do. And just overnight, just overnight, all you guys just reached out and helped us and all the support, your encouraging words. That lying motherfucker look just like Droopy, don't she? Just gave look me at a him. lot of hope and I just want to make sure I do the best that I can to help the next person. And you can't tell that white woman she ain't happy. You can't tell her she ain't happy. She like, she about to cry her damn self. That white woman swear she done did something. So Congresswoman Bush, uh, what do you do from here? Are you confident that this fix will hold? I'm confident that um, what we're going to do now, which is what we are asking people, we're asking people in communities to go and volunteer um, uh, to m help to make sure that this rental assistance, this $46.5 billion that's available, where it's only $3 billion of it already spent, um, that we help get these resources. Basically, to give all y'all hard working, all y'all hard earned money to this line motherfucker right here. But go ahead, let me not stop the video is out to those who um who need it that is so that's where the work is right now getting these resources out we got 60 days let's make sure that people are able to apply that we make that process seamless and that we get the money out um to the landlords and and to those where this money is supposed to go um and uh in the meantime as congress we have to we have that to motherfucker actually got there the audacity so to be sitting up there looking so this pitiful is the first step i am confident that we are going to now shift gears into making sure that this I ain't gonna lie though, them kids, them kids was a good touch now. Them them little half breeds, they they make you feel bad for them. Boy, I tell you. <laughs> oh shit. Money that the state and our all these localities have. What's up everybody? This is your boy Timothy Apollo. Like, subscribe, share. Okay, so that video we just seen was Miss Deja Kelly, Deja Dasha Kelly, I don't know which one, and quite frankly, don't care. So she just scammed people out of, what is it, $232,000. Initially, she was asking for $2,000, okay, through GoFundMe. Now, with the help of CNN, she's made an ass out of a lot of people, including yours truly. That's right. I actually donated 137, you know, because I can understand, you know, sometimes it's hard for women. Uh, sometimes it's hard for people in general. And we should all want to help. Okay, but we shouldn't want to get scammed out of our money. You know, CNN who helped this 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 black queen, okay, should have did their due diligence. They should have did their investigation. They should have checked. There is no way in hell 
that she should have gotten away with this. I reiterate, she only went for two thousand dollars, from what I understand, and she came out with two hundred and thirty thirty-two thousand dollars. Come on, people! There's no way in hell. You know, all on there with the three little half breeds and just just gunning for your money. I mean, it wasn't cool. Now, don't get me wrong. You know, those you know those beautiful young ladies. Um, I'm hoping that they still got some of that money, but here's the thing. GoFundMe said that if you want your money back, you have to file for a return, okay? The rest is being left to her. You have two weeks. What? No, I should have as long as I want to to make sure I get my money back, you know, period. Now, the thing about it is that what she did was just morally just morally wrong morally and legally wrong it was fraud just as simple what she did was committed an act of fraud so i'm sure i'm hoping that they're gonna press charges okay i'm hoping that she's getting her ass locked up behind that because you got plenty of people out there men women who could utilize that money who actually be needing that money you know, if it, let's be real. If it had been a man, I guarantee you charges would be um, would be impressed. You know, I can guarantee you a man wouldn't have gotten that much. Seriously. But old liberal ass CNN was so quick. The left, the liberals are so quick to virtue signal to say, well, hey, look, we see a black woman in distress. Let's help a queen. <laughs> Queen made asses out of you at CNN, didn't it? I bet you, you guys will investigate next time, okay? Right about now, CNN should be the laughing stock of news. They just should, you know? And they did an interview with the biological mom later on, and she stated, hey, look, she, you know, she watch them sometimes. She come to see us sometimes, but she don't do nowhere near <laughs> $200 nonetheless Two thousand nine or less, two hundred thousand thirty-seven dollars. She's utilizing my kids, and you all fell for it. You know, and again, like I say, it was just completely wrong. So, you know, again, people, let's let's be a little bit more cautious before we land out, before we give out our hard-earned money. You know, because again, hey, we work hard for that. <laughs> you know, we just do. Well, anyway, everybody, I just wanted you guys to see the video. I just wanted to uh, bring the news to you let, you, let me know what you guys think. Hey, am I wrong for thinking that, you know, charges need to be brought up on um, Deja Kelly? Because we know morally it was wrong, and we already know legally it's fraud, okay? Uh, do you guys think that, hey, she should just get away with a slap on the wrist, keep the money, which after the next two weeks, the money will be hers, whatever's left over, and hey, that's that. But I ask you guys this. Let's be real. Everybody's not going to want their money back. A lot of people ain't even heard of this, um, this situation yet. How much of that money do you think she's really going to utilize toward those kids? Something to think on. Timothy Apollo, out.